what up GQ? It's your boy Trevi Boy, and I'm here to show you eight things to Trev K live without. Sight, bitch. This ain't no GQ. Speak that shit into existence, though. Let's Man. go. I'm about to do eight things that I can't live without. Hey, so look, I told y'all, y'all are the gang. Y'all ain't like just my viewers. Y'all are the gang. If you see me in public and you be like, I watch your videos, I'm a straight be like, what up, gang? What up, gang? Shit, I ain't big yet. But like, if you're a supporter of mine and you say that, I'm a straight dap you up like, what up, gang? We can even flick it up if you want to. I don't give a fuck, because that flick gonna mean something one day, nigga, I'm telling you. That flick gonna mean something one day, my nigga, I'm telling you. Hey, y'all, but let's keep on going, nigga. All right, so look, hold on. I know I gotta get the sip in. I do a lot of talking, G. On G, my this shit good. Listen, I don't even care they ain't paying me. I'm good, damn, bro. Real niggas gonna be real niggas and tell you if some shit is good. And I'm gonna be a real nigga and tell y'all this is good. Lipton iced tea lemon. My grandma got me hip to these. Oh, G Ma, G Ma got me hip to these goddamn Lipton teas. And this shit is good. Like, I slept on these, bruh. Like, I ran out of, uh, I ran out of some other stuff that I was drinking. I'm like, oh, shoot, these sitting off in the corner. Let me go ahead, body rock one of them, uh, Lipton's real quick. Damn. This shit good. The things that make me, me. The things that sum up Trevor. So let's break it down. My phone. My phone. My phone, I, I use my phone for everything. Just like everybody in this generation. I check my, well I don't check my phone constantly. That's probably why people like, um, always tell me I have, a, I text back terrible. Like, people tell me I have a terrible texting problem. They also say it's a light skin thing, but I ain't about to keep on listening to this light skin bashing because we didn't took a lo enough bashing in the last three years. I don't know what the fuck that went wrong with light skins. Like, dude, we used to be sh shit. We used to be cool, bruh. But it's just like, damn. Like, these last three years, we in a fucking drought, bruh. Like, it's like we had them at first, but we ain't doing so hot now. But let's see, we I, I see us making a comeback in the future. Real shit. But yes, yeah, my phone just to know I have the option to get it. Like, and I realized how valuable my phone was to me. But when actually a couple weeks ago, I had an eight plus for the longest. For the last three and a half years, I had an eight plus. So yes, I was a nigga that had a button still. So um, with me being one of those button pushers, I didn't really care. Like, I really didn't care. Like, I was at a point. I used to care about having the newest phone. I didn't give a damn this time. So. I went and um, I was working out one day, you know, throwing that shit, 75 pound dumbbells, and this dude, well basically what happened was, to sum it all up, a weight dropped on my phone, it crushed it, so yeah, so I ended up getting 12, and I, but I had to go the whole day without a phone, niggas don't know how much you need your phone until you go that whole day without a phone, I'm just being real, my AirPods, man, this is another thing because I lose these constantly. In the last two years, I probably even bought four pairs of AirPods. Not even gonna lie, I bought one single AirPod. You should never have to buy one goddamn headphone. That shit is ridiculous. And for seventy five dollars, have you niggas lost your your mind? I keep buying it. But I like having these on standby just because they're small, compact. But they, they I lose them so much. I'm about to go back to Beats. But they're small, compact, and. Just like to pull it out, listen to a song, and put it away real nice and easy. Incognito with their help. My bath and body works lotion. I usually keep one of these, like, cause I'm I don't even know. My arms been getting darker and shit. So like with them getting darker, they get ashier. So it's just like well, I've been going out and noticing my elbows been ashier than a motherfucker. I like to keep these in the car, in the house. Rub it on me and it smell good, keep me smelling good. So I love my Bath and Body Works lotions and smells good and all that. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody who know me know I f a box of these up. I take these to the moon and back. I give a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch the night of its life. I'm telling you, I get intimate with a box. That was fried. I took it too far. I took it too far. I took it too far. 
Y'all can say that. I took it too far. Just say, hey, nigga, you took, you took it a little bit too far. It's my cereal. Chill out. I chill. I know I, I know how to take the criticism. I need to chill. But at the end of the day, y'all need to know, with this right here, this is my bread and butter. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But I gotta let off eating it sometimes because I ain't trying to be a diabetic and shit. Like, I don't want blood sugar to get all hot. I'm trying to build up a physique, you know? And, like, it me all up. Give me belly. Big, my belly button weird. I don't know how I would look with a big belly. My do-rag, the dewy. So, look. I keep, I got one of these everywhere. I got one, I got a couple in the car. I got a couple in the bathroom. I got a couple in each drawer. I got a, I got a bunch in my sock drawer. I got a bunch in my sock drawer. I got one, uh, where I got one at? I think that's it, that's not really everywhere. Well, that's everywhere to me. Oh, I got one in the drawer at work. Man, I guess that's everywhere to me, but I gotta keep a dewy on me just because I got my hair low for them days and I ain't gotta cut. I gotta preserve my I gotta preserve my sexiness, man. I gotta preserve my sexiness. You gotta preserve your sexiness. If your dewy if you if you ain't got the cut and you ain't looking right and you have not decided to brush your shit, like you gotta preserve your sexiness, man. I I, I have to preserve my sexiness. I don't know about y'all. <clears throat> so I have to throw the dewy on. No, I, I gotta I gotta protect myself. I gotta protect myself. I gotta protect myself from uh from all the grimaces, the faces, all the mm, oh shit. Mm, ooh, look at him. Ooh, shit, damn. Hey Trevor, when you getting a haircut, questions like that, like those those are uncomfortable conversations for a man. When a man don't got a haircut, never ask that nigga when when are you getting a haircut? You don't say that shit. Because that just like girls don't like being uh questioned about a certain shit, like uh like they hear or stuff like that. A dude, nah, unless the nigga just trying to grow his hair out and he don't care about that shit, boom, he don't care. But a dude who, like, get his hair cut on a regular, never question that nigga about, like, ooh, we ain't get your hair cut. That nigga really is um, immediately be on some, hey, come on now, what's up? What's wrong with you? Why the fuck you ain't gotta say something negative? I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all already know what's up. I'm not even gonna say it. You know what's up. Don't dream on. Hoodies. I love hoodies. I love my hoodies. I love hoodies. If it came down to me and the woman, I probably would choose my hoodies if she tried to take my hoodies. I don't care. I, I need my hoodies. I love my hoodies. I've seen girls put their knees in hoodies. Please, I just, I just don't want nobody to put their knees. I just don't want to put their knees in my hoodie. That's it. Stretch my shit out. Because, like, what? Who want to stretch that hoodie? My shit all flared out at the bottom. I got a bell bottom hoodie on. Last but not least. My hats. In a lot of pictures, you'll notice I probably got a hat on or something. Um, usually, I put a hat on if I ain't got a haircut sometimes. We're long to do it. But I like hats. I like hats. I think hats look cool. I think hats bring fits together. Because sometimes if I got a fit on and I don't got a hat on, I'll think like, damn, something missing. But I put a hat on and that shit look right with it. I'm that nigga for the rest of the night. And I feel like when I'm like a hat on, I just look better sometimes in a different light. Hold on. Close your eyes. I tell y'all I'm gonna look. Close your, close your eyes. Are y'all ready? Is you peeking? Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! Turn it up. Turn it up. Pause. Pause. Uh. Uh. I could not put it up in that. I never done it to be no. I never put them in the mean. I never put them in the mean. Alright, y'all. Thanks for watching, man. GQ hit me up. Really get me on that. But actually, I ain't got nothing worth showing yet. But keep me on your radar, bruh. Cause I'm gonna have something worth showing soon, nigga. Deuce. Thank you.